Hello, welcome to my channel. I've been thinking about painting portraits. It's something I've never done and I got the idea that I might like to do this but I thought I'd copy somebody else's portrait first and I copied Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring. I had a good time painting this. I feel I got something out of it with shadows and highlights. Some I missed, some I managed. It was a good exercise. Art students, copy masters, they have the composition correct. You don't have to worry about things like that. All you have to do is paint. And that's what I did. But it did encourage me to think I could take pictures of my family and do their portraits. So I think I might give that a go. I also copied it onto my canvas the opposite way round just to make sure that those of you who think I'm trying to copy a great master realise that I understand my limitations. I'm not trying to fake anybody. I started with the background French ultramarine blue and raw umber which I mixed together to get my version of black which is a nice rich black. And I did that very carefully, outlining the head of the girl with the pearl earring. I did my sketch on tracing paper and I think I got the age right in the sketch. As I went on in the painting, uh, she got younger. I'm not quite sure how. I think it was something to do with the drawline. I used a three quarter inch flat to do this. I like to paint with large flat brushes. So um, here you see me outlining the face and I did that as carefully as I could but um, still left parts where I had to go back in and touch it up. But that is the, um, was the hardest thing to do I think. For the bandeau on her head I mixed light uh, permanent blue and French ultramarine blue to get a blue that I thought was close to the colour of the bandeau and um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I used the French ultramarine blue for the shadows on the bandeau. I changed to a half inch flat to help me with this bandeau. I wasn't getting anywhere with it. For the folds of the scarf, I wanted a sort of pale sandy colour, so I added raw sienna, titanium white and a little bit of alizarin crimson to my palette. The crimson, just to warm it a little bit more, I find raw sienna is a little cold and um, that seemed to do the trick. I was happy with the colour I managed to get out of that and that's what I painted the entirety of the scarf with. And I also used that for the facial tones. I could have gone with something slightly paler, I think, when I look back at the original photograph that I have. Her face is much paler, less warm in colour. Um, and I could have tried that, but I didn't. I thought it, at the time I was painting it that it was very like the colour of the scarf and I used, it, used those tones. Having never painted a portrait before, I wasn't sure where to start. Um, so I began with the things that were less intimidating. The face was really quite um, intimidating to me. I wasn't sure I could get the face to look like a human face, to be honest. 
and um, I was quite surprised with what I managed to achieve. So um, I think I'm, I'm, if with a bit of practice, I might get there and produce something a little more solid. But for a beginning, it wasn't too bad, I thought. I don't, I want to paint my uh, children and grandchildren and I don't want to insult them. So I have to be careful in learning this. So I'm going to practice a few portraits here and there and um, I hope you'll bear with me. And then when I think I've got some skills, I will try painting my children and grandchildren and without shocking them, hopefully. When I painted the background, I forgot the area behind her neck and ear. And so I had to go in later on and put that in. I had a little bit of difficulty with that. I couldn't get the black black enough. and um, But I managed it in the end. I'm painting her top, which is a sort of gold colour, and I'm using raw sienna for that, and I'll use primary yellow over the top to add gold patches to it to make it shine a little. I think that's the best way to go about this. My method of painting is to do a mid-tone all over and then add shadow and highlight to it. I find that the easiest way to paint. It gives my work some form and substance, I feel. And it's the way I work. And I'm sure other people do things differently. So I don't want to say you have to do it my way or... But painting a mid-tone shadow and highlight is the easiest way I have found of getting something out at the end that I'm happy with at least. At this point I feel she still looks sort of 18 to early 20s and I the only thing I really adjusted was the jawline at the very end when I felt that um, it was a little uneven and I adjusted it taking part of it off and it made the face rounder and I feel that now she looks like um, a 12 year old trying to look grown up so I don't think I did myself any favors by adjusting that jawline
I think this shadow on the neck is actually not too bad. I think it will look better when I've got the part behind the neck and ear darker and um, it will show up a little bit better. I'm very tentative when it comes to working on the face. I have never done a portrait. I don't know why. I have managed to avoid it all these years. I don't know why I'm doing it now, to be honest. I think that um, this is a good way of doing it, though, to pick a painting that is beautiful and has been worked out by the artist. Copying an old master, you can learn a lot, I feel. I have to be very careful about the eyes. If you can get the eyes right, that goes a long way to making a face look human. I always think, anyway. And um, so I try very hard, and I think I achieve it with this painting. I've got a spot of light in each eye, which helps. And the lashes help, too, when I get those in. I've painted her eyes blue, but I think they're actually green. I can't really tell in the photo that I've got. But I think in the photo they're more green than they are blue. But I like blue better. So I painted them blue. It's my painting. Put a slightly darker shade of the face colour, which was raw sienna, alizarin crimson and titanium white mixed. And I mixed it to a slightly darker shade and putting that around the edge of the bandeau. I think, I don't see it in the photograph, but I think it makes the edge look a little more formed and um, like there's a roundness to the bandeau that way. I'm putting a little shadow on the face with a half inch flat and raw umber and I think I make it a little too dark 
and I know that I lighten it up as I go along. So I'm not going to cut it out. I like to show you my mistakes as well as my best work. So um, you'll see in the photograph of the actual painting, I felt the shadow looked quite dark on her face. But then when I put the raw amber on her face, I felt that it was too dark. But I continued anyway. Now, don't ask me why. I don't know. I think I just hadn't told myself that it was too dark at this point. But I do lighten it up as I go along. I think here the shade is correct, but the shape is wrong. I think it's a bit too angular. I keep going back to my photograph, which I have on my phone, and checking out the angles. Because you've got to get that right, otherwise it looks all wrong. And Vermeer got it right, didn't he? I think for a shadow on her face, that's much better. I've lightened it quite considerably. And I, I do like that better, I think. I'm, not, I'm still not sure about the shape of it, but I like the colour of it. So that's it, I think. I hope you enjoyed the video. I learned something from it. Uh, it was an exercise in balancing out shadow and highlight, I've got to say, for me. And um, it wasn't as daunting as I thought it was going to be. I would do it again. I will look for another masterpiece to copy 
and if YouTube lets me do that, I'm not sure they'll let me put this up, but we'll see. It's it's not actually a copy, is it? Because it's the opposite direction, and um, it's really a different picture altogether. It's a younger person and uh, the opposite direction. So I think I've covered it all. And please like and subscribe that helps my channel grow i appreciate all of you who've done that already thank you very much and i'll see you next time bye for now